Hey everyone, Natalie Cutler-Welsh here, the go-to girl. I'm all about making social media and networking easy, fun, and fabulous. Just done a podcast interview with the awesome, cool, and lovely Eric Fisher, which you can um, listen to in about a week's time. Uh, but right now we're going to do a quick Google Hangout so he can share some of the awesome gems and nuggets of wisdom that he mentioned in the podcast. Hey Eric, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Groovy. Okay, so Eric is the... Um, he is the community manager for the Social Media Examiner, and he's also a fellow podcaster, um, fellow author, um, and coach for Beyond the To-Do List. So, Eric, I'd love it if you could just share with us uh, some productivity apps that you're loving at the moment, and then maybe some social media trends, like what is hot for social media in 2015. Sure. Uh, let's see. We'll start with productivity tools. Uh, my go-to tool that I have to make sure everybody knows about is called Focus at Will. You can find that at focusatwill.com. What it does is it is composed music that you play, preferably in headphones, while you're doing specific tasks. And it can be a, a number of different tasks, but something where you know you've got to stare at a screen or even read for a, a long period of time, and you want to make sure that you're not distracted. This these compositions are des designed in a way that it tricks the flight or fight response in your brain that is always thinking, you know, am I in danger? Is there something going on over here or over there? And puts blinders up basically so you can only look straight ahead at the work that you need to do and it helps you get it done so for example one of my favorite things to do is say alright I'm gonna clean out my email inbox in half an hour and I'm gonna plug in focus at will I'm gonna hit play I've set it for 30 minutes and it'll end at 30 minutes it'll it'll make a little ding sound and the music will stop and it somehow magically helps me focus and go through multiple passes of deleting, archiving, quick replies, longer replies, etc., and then it's done. So, I love the sound of that because for me, um, I find, it, yeah, it, it is easy, easy to get distracted. So the fact that it's got that built-in timer and you know, okay, I'm going to do half an hour or I've got a client coming in an, in an hour and a half, so I just want to like do this, you know, this blog or whatever, and then you can just get into the zone, right? Yep. Yeah, it, and in fact, that's exactly what it does is it puts you in and keeps you in that zone for that specific amount of time that you've set it for. Very cool. So that's called Focus at Will. Uh, yes. You mentioned there's a, free, there's a free trial, but otherwise it's pretty affordable, right? It's very affordable. I mean, it's something like $40 for an entire year, and that includes mobile apps that are connected to your account. So you could have, you, know, you could be out and about and, you know, at a at some, you know, coffee shop or something, and you need to get rid of all the ambience. So you want to focus in on what it is you want to do and either use your phone or your iPad or other device or your laptop itself if you have that with you, so... Very, very cool. Hey, I'll put the link to that um, in the in the podcast show notes. It's going to be gotogirlsocialmedia.com slash 68 for episode 68. Um, okay, awesome. So let's talk social media. What either, yes. what are some, uh, what's coming up in 2015? What is working for people? Where should they spend their time and their energy? What seems to be working the most is because Facebook and other networks have prioritized it, it it's video. It's native video, I should say. It's video that is uploaded to that network in and of itself and you know for example we're seeing it boom on uh, Facebook where you instead of you know don't don't spend all that time creating a video upload it to YouTube and then post that link on Facebook you'll get views but you won't get nearly as many views or in as much as an engagement or visibility for that video if you were to natively upload that video to Facebook itself. So so that's what's going on on Facebook. On Twitter, they've just updated, and, and now through their mobile app, you can do 30 seconds of video, and you can do different, you know, shots and clips and hooking things together like you can do on uh, Vine or, or Instagram, but with this one, 30 seconds, and, and you can get a lot more... Uh, words in <laughs> or you can think of the story or the image or the um, message you can get across in 30 seconds versus 15 or even six looping seconds on Vine. So 
Yeah, because uh, Instagram, 15 seconds, it's pretty it's pretty darn quick. You have to, I mean, I've done a few in the past. I haven't done enough, but I've done mm -hmm. a few. And I sometimes had to do like two or three takes just to get everything in that I wanted to say. Yeah, it, it, it can be pretty uh, hectic to try and cram everything you want to say into these 15 seconds. But if I had like five more, I'd be okay. But if you've got 15, you know, you can kind of really, you, you can relax and really get it out, so... Yeah, so Twitter, 30 seconds, and then Facebook, it's not really sky's the limit, but I mean, you could, you could do yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, you can get, you can get across, you, I mean, you can put five, six, eight, ten minutes up there at least, and again, you're going to want to make sure that for the people who have autoplay turned on in their news feed, that when they're scrolling or swiping by your video, that... You have something interesting in those first few seconds as it scrolls by that's going to make them stop and look at your video. So what about Google Plus then? Like, what about putting video on Google Plus? Well, that's where you want to use YouTube because it's tied in to Google. So uh, not to mention the fact that it kind of all, in the weird Google way of everything kind of morphing together, um, you can post something on um YouTube, and then the comments are basically Google Plus comments down there. So then you can hit send. You can you can you can write it as a comment there on your YouTube channel, and then hit send, and it'll go post it over on Google Plus and share it there. And so yeah. Well, here we are. Here we are on um, on Google Plus anyway. So we're gonna yes. we're gonna put that yes. on Google Plus. <laughs> hey, we're, we're I'm also gonna put it out on Facebook though. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, cool. Hey, so any other um, tips you want to mention for what, either what to do or what not to do, basically, um, in social media this year? Uh, I would say, as we've seen with uh, Facebook's new um, newsfeed algorithm where they're trying to have less promotional material, in other words, they don't want people selling things uh, in, in posts anymore. I would say seek to be helpful, seek to put out good content first. If you're going to sell something, sell it on your own site unless you're paying for the ads to do it. I mean, you can still sell stuff on Facebook. You just need to do it the way they say to. Um, so if you're going to so in other words, if you're going to post quality content, your call to action needs to be more about the quality of the content and the helpfulness of it and treat people as if they're not just another sales number, but as if they're actual people. And you'll catch yourself. You'll be like, oh, here's a great deal. Oh, I can't say here's a great deal. you got to tell the story, paint a picture, tell us what it's good for, show us how it's going to help me, but treat me as a person. So. And that's got to be good, and that's kind of how Facebook was designed yeah, in the first place. Yeah, exactly. It's interacting with people. So. Excellent. And now speaking of interacting with people, I will see you at Social Media Marketing World. Yes, you will. End that of March. Very exciting. The yeah, end of March, San Diego. It's going to be great. If you can make it, get there. It, there's still time to get there. Get in on all the live, fun networking and speakers giving great amounts of knowledge at the event. If you can't, there's virtual ticket. So jump on getting that. Yes, good point. Okay, I'll put the link to that in the show notes as well. Awesome. Hey, everyone, thanks for listening, and thank you so much, Eric. Great to have your tips. And, again, uh, that podcast is coming out end of Feb, so um, so you guys can check that out. Go to girlssocialmedia.com. Thanks. thanks for having me.